Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 32 game between um, Hoily Boy and his Kemri and Sasori and his Chaos Dwarves. Um, so yeah, this is this is interesting. Uh, well, first of all, Muppet's in the booth with me. Hello, Muppet. Hello there. And already one chuff down. What a great game already. I love it. Yeah, Apple gone. Instant. Instant Apple. Off the LOS. So this could be... I mean, I don't know who Sasori is. I don't know how good Sasori is, but I know Hoily Boy is very good. Um, and you know, this is an annoying team to deal with, isn't it? It's the worst possible matchup, racial matchup for Kemri at low TV. At high TV, it's not as worrying because you can bang out the... Uh, you can bang out the Tomb Guardians reliably with two claw bombers. Do both Dauntless Pro, so you know he's he's got a real good chance of just banging out the uh, banging out the Tomb Guardians. But against this dirty player and uh, Mighty Blow and everything, you know there's a lot of Mighty Blow on the team. There's a bribe. There's a wizard. There could be some damage here for for the Chorfs, but uh, I'd still fancy the Chorfs to win, to be honest. But this could be the game that makes them lose next game if they take so much damage. Exactly, yeah, it could be it could be a real bad game for them even if they win. Uh, he's got interesting hobgoblins. One is guard frenzy, which I'm gonna love to see like frenzy himself out of the position he wants. <laughs> yeah. It was a nice chain push there to get his uh, dwarf out and uh, not, probably not get stomped next turn. Yes. Yeah that's the important thing isn't it? He doesn't want to get stomped. Yeah. Doesn't want the, the balls. Men's to get the balls are pretty nice. Um, I don't know if I would rather have guard over that tackle though. Yeah, I mean, I like I like both of my bulls to be blodge, break tackle, tackle guard. So you've just got to take it it's with team need really yeah. as to how, what what order to get them. He has got a tackle bomber here. Um, so we might see a tackle pommer hit on the ball. If you can get around. He's got enough guard no, to really push him around. then. You can't really get around to push him back though for the foul, that's what I was uh, thinking. Okay. If, you could, if you could get the foul in as well. He might, he might just do it anyway. Down the line, though. Even in a replay, two guardians move slowly, don't they? Yeah. So he's, he's, he's definitely going to bomb this guy. Just, he's just not going to get a foul. This is quite nice, isn't it? Because you, you, you get to use your guard to foul make him. two hits. Oh, never mind. I thought he was going to push him into that square and foul him. Yeah. Oh, he, really, he does get a good foul. Yeah, he's great. I like the greed there. He's made the space with the blocks. Right, so he, did get, he got a massive foul. There you go. I knew nothing, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> I thought he had to blitz around to get a good foul, but I mean, I guess he did power these two guys, which helped. If he hadn't powered those, I guess there's no foul, really. And his whole team's pretty much together, so he's pretty safe from uh, any break tackle shenanigans. Yeah, this is very nice. This could be a huge removal here. This thick skull will... Only a skull. DP, sh DP should count a thick skull. Yeah, well, it kind of does, doesn't it? <laughs> what the hell is this? Oh yeah, again trying to rescue his, trying to rescue his bull from the big gang fouls. Quite this has nice also way. stopped a lot of claw pom hits because he's not fast enough to get. Them. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. So another another reason why Holly Boy's turn was good, going pushing that way. Because it protected him from the claw pom hits, but then I did like that hit to rescue his ball from the uh, dirty player club. I think I'm trying to remember if Sasori was an alt account, maybe. Mm, maybe. Is he like going for the ball carry here? He could do, couldn't he? Oh, that's. Uh, can the tackle reach? He yeah. Can. And the guard can like go it. in there to hit that one and give him an assist. Just maximising blocks here. Solid. Mm. 
He's gonna make room for a foul anyway. No, I, I think he's unfortunately oh, he's, he's one's, of one's dead, one one the blah, one of them is stunned and the other one's down. Yeah, he wrestled down. That's a shame. It looks like he's coming for this ball carry though, like exactly like you said. Uh, oh, is this caution? Is it? Because yeah, caution was banned, wasn't he? And is this caution Zolt? Uh, oh. Who can say? I don't want to get oh. anyone in trouble. Wow. Well. <laughs> He's going a bit backwards here. Though. I think if somebody's, <laughs> <laughs> if somebody's, uh, you know, doing something that they shouldn't be, then <laughs> they should get in trouble, shouldn't they? <laughs> if it's okay, then it's okay. If it's not okay, then it's not okay. Oh, there you go, huge pom. And the apple is gone. And the apple has gone, so that sticks. I did like going for that hit. And, yep, that is a big loss for him, minus move. Big loss. We didn't notice his this uh, pom of his minus movement. Mm. The, uh, the skeleton. The... Get Witzwa. That's the one. Mm. So I don't know if you had to geofy there or not. I think Probably. you did, yeah. Don't let's fail. Ooh. <laughs> and pro fail. Don't let some pro make a good combo against big strength teams, don't they? Yep. Yeah, it's, I, I do like that. With it's, it's the same like jump up, right? Jump up and Dauntless both really nice with pro because they're. The sort of things that you're very unlikely to use the team re roll on, but you always get to uh, you always get to stick them in. Now, unfortunately, Holy Boy is spread a bit thin here, isn't he? So it's um, tricky. Yes, to be careful of these balls now. The yeah, dangerous he's got one up the He's got one up the back, one up the bum. One in front. <laughs> Is he blitzing it, maybe? Not with this guy. I'm thinking with the uh, Team Guardian. No. Gonna hit the Palmer. Oh, he's chain pushing. We've got a lot of chain pushes this game. Yeah. And again, frees this guy up. See, very nice, very nice chain. To both players, from. yeah, yeah. Both both players have done very nice chaining for rescuing purposes. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get a curl palm. Finally, it's been a while. Yeah. Oh, oh, nope, never mind. Gets him. <laughs> That's a creed real. Pro. Pro. Oh, he's got pro, hasn't he? has got pro on. But pro I don't on think he used it. Them. He didn't use it, he re rolled. Oh, why he re rolled? What the fuck? What a mm. mad ass. Well, I guess there's four turns and three re rolls, but still, that was. I wouldn't have done that with pro, I would have relied on the pro. I, mean, I think I he got an extra re roll on the kickoff? Or does he have four? He must have gone out. Very, be very surprised if he had four. Yeah, it was straight green. Yeah. He was tired of not claw pumping anyone. It's been too long. Yeah, it's draw symptoms. <laughs> Getting to smash, uh, smash the, smash this guard guy with mighty bow. Now that's pretty nice, isn't it? Armor seven. And then still gets to hit the other armor seven. Always good. Yeah. Doesn't. Follow? Okay, because he's going to go around. Okay. Get that extra movement in while you can. Yep. No, yeah, you're right, Ducky. Yeah, it's, it's, it's probably fine, isn't it? Back door is a little bit ajar. I would have loved to see seen a... Ooh, he's got to reroll that one. How long he took on that reroll? If he did it straight away or if he was like, yeah. Yeah. Now he's got no reroll for this blockless block. Gets the pow. Yeah, I think I would have done the scarier one first, but it works out so it's fine.
Oh, this split squad's moving at five as well. What a shame. <laughs> wow. <laughs> his crippled blitz rats. <laughs> his throw rats have steal, stolen all his movement. Yeah. Yeah, it's been quite a nice offensive drive for the camera, and they've all bashed the chaos. Oh, again, Dauntless Tails and Pro Fails. Gets the 1D there. Oh, we stand firm on the air. Uh, maybe you should have pushed the skeleton out. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Mm. I don't know if this. Maybe it was like he didn't mind the stand firm. Yeah, I don't think so. so. The bulls can still come back and do things, can't this? This isn't nice, really. He's only got four players free. He's got to try and free up more. I think. I think this was a mistake. Yeah, that that was the free up I was looking at. Yeah, I think he had to free him up with a. Yeah. Or maybe even blitz with this one. No. Uh, um, and then yes. free up the Tomb Guardian. I like uh yeah, I like that because the uh claw bomber doesn't have guard, does it? Mm. They are in a position to cage, but they've only got those three players. So when then when they're all base next turn, they're gonna he's be gonna in have trouble, to... aren't they? He's gonna have to sc score next turn. I don't think he'll get another store off. Yeah. So he will put in the players to uh, slow him down. I guess this way he gets to hit the, the curl palm. Which is quite but it's nice. not. It's not even we might blow though. So. No. And it gets him. It gets him a long way away from the balls. So it makes the balls irrelevant. Ish. Ish. Yeah, not that any irrelevant, they can still just come back 9, can't they? <laughs> they can still just come all the way back here, both of them. Is there any misplaced here? Oh, he's like killed him! Here. Oh, shit! I think regen's worked. Yeah. Yeah, there's any misplaced here. It's probably the balls that have been a bit too far away from the action. Yeah, maybe like, last turn he should have broke tackle with this, with a, at least with the blodge one. Yeah, he, he took a block instead, didn't he? Yeah, maybe he should have come back last turn. Because if he if he had come back to here, this makes this this formation wouldn't have been possible, would it? Yeah. Which was a pretty nice formation, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what cheeky one! The one day, pal. Stand firm's good here, though. Disgustorous. And Hoyleball only has one wheel, so Rock's maybe too scary for him to take. Yeah, see, this is the problem now. He's only got these, right? If he had a, if he had another guy back down, but he doesn't, so he can't stall. He can't do anything here, can he? He could probably take a hit with the uh, power roll. With one reroll, I think I'd just score. Nah, yeah, no, I guess on. you've got to, you've got to hit the ball, haven't you? You've got to yeah. hit the ball. You've got to hit the ball. I think I think the I think the right move is to just skull. Because if you dub skull, you don't want to have to use your last reroll that you're going to need to use to stop the two turn. Um, you know, but so... I also think a lot of players will just do that hit. Yeah, you've got to hit the ball. you just got to. <laughs> you just got to. If you remove both balls, suddenly you're just playing a dwarf team that's slightly worse because they're probably good wins. Yeah. And of course, his, his apples gone as well. Makes it even better. Oh, and then there's no ball carry for this two turns, so and the ball carry was plus edge, so we'd have been a good thrower or receiver. Yeah, yeah. But he's got two move nine balls that could receive handoffs. Possible, isn't it? It's like you're pretty confident of stopping them, obviously, with two with two turns and a wizard if you have to. Yeah. Like if you have to. Emergencies. Like, how many score threats is he going to have, and how many of them do you not care about because they're uh, hobgoblins? Yeah. Yeah, it is tricky. <laughs> That's amazing, Mr. Hulk. <laughs> I think this is one of my favourite games to watch so far, and I would have even liked to watch it live because yeah. it would be interesting to see how long we took to use rerolls and decide on the turn. Yeah. 
Ce joueur, par cet attaquant, il transpire la faiblesse. Gets the pow. Yeah, chains him over there. Yeah, I quite like that. The removal there would have been amazing, though. Like, the ball could have just come straight up. Yep. Uh, I mean, he, he sort of can. He can blitz the uh, Mona and uh, just break tackle down. But... No, I think, yeah, yeah, you got to go down this side more. But yeah, I mean, mm. You can get both balls down. Unless this one's picking up the ball, maybe take there's it down. No, there's no guard to hit this, though, so. He's. He can. Oh, yeah, there's a guy. He's gonna claw palm, isn't he? He's just gonna claw palm. Oh, yeah, he's just. Just, <laughs> just oh, red he gets him! <laughs> he gets him on the uphill! That's the kill. kill. It's kind of worse that he didn't power on, because now he can still be a threat next time. Yeah. Is he going to hand off to the bull? I guess he's got re-rolls, he might as well use them. Yeah. Gets the bull. And the bull is in range. It can be two dice, but... Just, uh... Rick could fireball this. <laughs> Not the bull for his own, but the bull for the enemy. <laughs> All four players would get knocked down apart from that one. <laughs> yeah. Does he have guard? He doesn't. He can't get guard. This is a pretty. This is a pretty smart spot, isn't it? Because he can only two deem without tackle. He can only, you know. So this is. Uh... But there might be an interesting chain push to push them both up. Yes. Yep. But he's not doing it. That guy there stood was. up. He can still hit. Yeah, he's still one deem. With the guard in, can't he? So... I know he can't because there's, there's guard on the ball. You can uphill him to push him back. There you go, power He's, <laughs> he's hitting the guard. Oh, he hit the other one! Okay, he hit the one in yeah. front. Fair enough. So if this ball is the only one in range and he can put some pressure on. Surprised he's not touching him with him. Oh, he's on the diagonal, isn't he? For the... Yeah. Yeah, okay, so he's got him on the diagonal and these on the diagonal. And yes. I like that better than basic. Yeah, yeah, I like this. This is pretty good. Looking a very tricky score for Le Bull. You've got to see a power on fan. <laughs> Just go through here, 4 plus 2 plus touches. Like, uh, put a guy in here, blitz from there, chain him to here, and then go 4 plus 2 plus. Did he block his one way now? Oh no, okay, this is this is much better. Because he's tackled, isn't he? So he's got oh, 2 yeah. plus, 2 plus 2 plus, both with dodge. Very good. There you go. Well, oh, those are so good, aren't they? They are really good, yeah. That was a really nice spot. I think maybe he should have pushed him back though, rather than hitting the other ball. I think that should have he should have hit the ball with the ball because yeah, of the power of him. Like, but even then, pushing him was good. Whereas pushing the the guard ball didn't really do anything. And that was a and, mistake. Uh, any like handoffs or throws are it's really hard. Yeah, I think that I think that was a big mistake. He was he's already surrounded by players, and I think if you just get the push on there, you're good, aren't you? I mean, yeah. Hello, Wolfbark. Yeah, the stream is live, yeah. The stream is live. The Hobgoblin you blitzed, you could probably still hit with the blitz roll. So you, so you blitz the ball carry with the uh, Tomb Guardian, then you hit the Hobgoblin with the uh, blitz roll. And then you've just got a ball that's surrounded that has to be handed off to in like a 6 plus. Oh, yeah, he has to yeah I think I think he definitely hit the wrong the wrong ball with his with his blitz run. I think that was his problem. But um, yeah, now he's got to now he's got to somehow get the stop. He's got the wizard though, hasn't he? So yeah, we still got the wizard. We can still. Uh... It's not going to be it's not going to be a high elf kind of wizard. It's going to be a you know just trying to blunt the drive with a. Big fireball and he's already in a rook. 
something like that. Or even just hoping you misplays because he thinks, oh no, he's got wizard, I better not do this. Yes, yeah, yeah, if I was to patch the, the replays are a lot, a lot more watchable, aren't they? <laughs> like, I think that's why Blitzpit is the best, and uh, and of course now Super League, because the one minute turns are great, aren't they? Watching people think for three or four minute turns is fucking brutal. <laughs> fucking brutal. Yeah, it, it gives you some information sometimes, right? Oh, he made that misplay because he was running out of time. That's nice to know. Yeah. So, we can't, we just have to say, sometimes that happens and we can't tell you. Yes, and like, there's obviously interesting things that if you're watching live, you'd think, oh, how do you get, how do you get out of this? And you could think about it for a while, while they're thinking about it for a while, instead of here, like, oh, that happened, and it's, you've like, moved on, haven't you? So like, yeah. it is a bit too fast at points, the replay, <laughs> if you want to like, care about what's happening. <laughs> Fails the pickup, but... It's, Kenry can't put any pressure on, all they've got to do is just use this time to, uh, you know, get good hits and try to get the Dwarves guard locked, basically, but they just can't do it because the Dawn is really, so it's tough. Really tough. Mm. You could no. pause to dissect, yeah. But it's... <laughs> I mean, haven't. I don't I think there's been one or two pauses ever, but maybe it should do, I don't know. Maybe on like one turns and stuff if we're thinking about it. Yeah. He is he's, he's threatening with a movement eight thrower. So this yeah. is kind of nice because he's, he's like subtly threatening it because it's looking like just a big dumb gang foul. But it is actually, you know, subtly getting this move eight into a position where he can threaten next turn. Ooh, I'm not sure I like the stand-ups there. I just noticed the hail mode pass on the other floor. That's amazing. <laughs> Only a stun. Bye, that might be good enough, though. Imagine if, those, imagine if some of those fouls had been worse. Like, it could have been brutal for the chops, couldn't it? Definitely. And it might have stopped some... Some of those good chain pushes might not have been worked because he would have uh, removed it. Yeah. Oh, now I like standing these guys up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do I know, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, he got cards from it. Yeah. He but found it didn't take up... without block. <laughs> yeah, it took up five players' actions. Um, but you're just not getting that much out of it, I don't think. But maybe he is. Maybe he is. I prefer just, even if it was just picking up this block guy, because the block guy doesn't get knocked over as much. And leave the other two down. It's still just, I, I don't know, I think if you stand one up, you stand them both up. Yeah, I guess. Because you, you're standing them up to, to hopefully use up actions, aren't you, basically? So, do you fireball here? <laughs> he could knock all four down, he's move eight. You know, he could... He could fireball here. I wouldn't hate the but fireball. He he oh, I was gonna say, he could probably just get a uh, a whole line in front of it and split his team up. Yeah, that, that's why I wouldn't mind the bolt because uh, the fireball just because you could devastate him more than just one. Like one going down isn't that bad if you don't molest the ball. <laughs> Whereas if this guy had gone down, then you still get to run forward and do something, don't you? Still oh, found okay. first. He's risking the one on the right. Yep. Yeah. Danger foul there, relying on that bribe. Gets away with it. Yeah, like like I really kind of like the fireball there. Eh? But he is doing it, he's cutting his team. You're yeah. taking to some J fires because he's there. Blitz was a slow as fuck. He's bound to fail one eventually. Yep. But that frees up him almost to go and get the ball. Could he have pushed the Hobgoblin up to give him one more square? Oh, what a shit. Yeah, but he wanted him on the, uh, on the TG, I yeah. guess. Wow. 
shame. Can we add you to playing work here? Yes, it was it was bold, wasn't it? I liked that it was bold though, because standing those up, even though one paid for it with his life and the other's being KO'd now, it did tie up all these players for a turn. Maybe um, Sazori shouldn't have hit with the bull and should have hit with everyone else, and after everyone else, it, after it had taken so many hits, then he should have break tackled to get him back. Yeah. Um, Realised, I'm going to need the ball now because everyone else is screwed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, double skulls! Oh, oh in the double pick barrel. up risky. Oh, pick up and dodge. Just... Yeah. Oh, he's just going no, to pick up with this hobgoblin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He gets the removal. Huge removal there. Boy, howdy. Imagine if that had just been a knockdown. No, is he, he is going to dodge. Yeah, the ball's coming now. The ball is coming now. Stand on the. He's sure feet. He's yeah, still got to do it. And that is. Oh my god. Even a push was fine there. That is awful. Yeah. <laughs> He's coming with the GFIs. Hit to do the GFIs. Danger scatter though. Could just be a catch. Ooh. Oh, awful. Awful three tackle zones. Rip Kemry. It was a bold move and it hasn't worked out so far. Yeah, and now they've got to switch gears and try and stop the score. You can argue that they should have already done that. But now they have to switch gears and try and somehow get out of this oh. one line. That one dash play helps so. What? For the six plus pickup. Ah, oh, and he's caught uh, it. No, I think he yeah. think that was. I think that was awful. Awful uh, strong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't lucky, but um, I think... Yeah, Just I giving know. him that chance to catch it. But, you know, on the other hand, if you don't do it, maybe you just yeah. lose anyway, no matter what you do. I guess with all these removals, yeah, you probably just lose, actually. Mm. More I think about it. Like, I would have... It's hard, so, isn't it? Yeah, so. But I guess the the dodge just makes me not want to do it even more because it's a five foot dodge. Yeah. But then if you just let the bull punch you, then you're not not only are you not dodging, you're also on the ground next turn. You're on the ground next turn anyway. You know? But you might be yeah. dead. And you definitely haven't got the ball in one. So he had about 30% to pick up the ball, didn't he? Two, two, two seventy-five percent dodges almost. Like there was a chance to just win it right there, I guess. Don't. I guess. It, it, it depends how much, how much chance he thought he had of actually defending properly, and I guess he thought not much. Because so uh, everyone's been gailed. Yeah. Why didn't you stand firm there? He's freed up his skill. I guess it's not gonna put still. Yeah, that's a bit weird. Like the reason he took the block was to free that skill in. So. We got a dodge. Movement 8 is coming in strong. Nails him with a 1D. Woo! Even above down was good because he's got wrestling up block. Yep. <laughs> Couldn't follow him because he'd just get claw on block. Now he's going to get claw on blitzed and then it's definitely all over. Basically, you can claw palm the tomb guardian, claw palm the uh, move here, and then it's it's essentially over. Oh, it was a shame. I really like this Kemri team as well, and I usually not a fan. Of, they always look kind of shit. But I just like this Kemri. Yeah, this is the big one. This this hit. gets the pow. Best player on the team dead. Doesn't follow. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> okay, I guess he was on there. How do you not follow? Come on, man. He could have followed and then... He's got to follow. I guess you don't need to because he's six away anyway. But only if you oh. stun. I think you had to follow just to make sure he broke armor. And if you broke armor, he started two squares left to tag this guy. He's moved five. I think you've got enough players. I think you can afford the power. Yeah, I think I would have liked to pile on there. It's 
especially with this ball coming up as well, yeah, which exactly. he's like 100% doing. Wow, well, not 100%, 97% doing. <laughs> yeah. He's 100% going to try it. What? Did he, he just forget just... about that hobgoblin? He probably, he probably ran out of time, I guess. Oh, yeah. I always forget about that in Yeah. I'll kill. Um, I don't know who we is or when. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but... Um, yeah, this is over now. He's just making first, right? Even before that 2D. Or is he going to hand off? Yeah, I think he's going for a hand off. Oh, yes, he's on five SPPs. Yep, yeah, okay. Oops. Okay, bit greedy. Bit greedy, but it's totally fair, isn't it? An extra guard job. So good. Yeah, yeah, you've got to do it. It was a good effort from the camera. Yeah, it was a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> that whole couple's leveled as well. What a shit. He's gonna have DP wrestle and probably like tackle or some shit. <laughs> 31 SBP deep. DP. Deep, 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 oh, deep, deep. I mean, as soon as you give someone DP, they get like every MVP in the world, don't they? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. He's gonna do something. I don't know what. Okay, pom, pom the guard. I'll pom. Oh no, one Dean just trying to just trying to take the claw pom down with him. <laughs> Doing a service for people left in the cup. Love to see. <laughs> Everyone should aspire to be Hoyle boy. <laughs> yeah, that was great, wasn't it? <laughs> one day I'll try and get you. <laughs> try and get you on my way out. <laughs> Should have greeted that. I'm pretty certain, so that you, you know can try. And, oh, I guess no, because you've got the you've got the blitz. Okay, yeah, you got it. You got to call up on that guy, so that he doesn't. He so doesn't he doesn't you. take you out. <laughs> yeah. This is the last one of the round, Fast Apache. Yeah, they will all be up on YouTube uh, soon. Very soon. Wow, he, he fails Dauntless and only just put the one D. Damn it. No, need one D's. Your chores. Yeah. Well, he's going to get a 2D at a guard. He's going to 2D at a guard uh, hobble and dirty player foul him. So this is a terrible mistake by the Chorf coach, I think, allowing such a thing to happen when he's all he's all he's shown you is that he wants to take something out <laughs> on his way out of the competition. To allow this hit, I think you should really try to control this more to stop this happening. Yeah, as soon as you see that he, he has shown you what he's trying to do, so you know. Yep. There you go. No oh, only a badly hurt. What a rocker dog. Yep. He's gonna mighty blow him. And he's going to double GFI foul him. He didn't re-roll it? No, he didn't. Oh, he doesn't double GFI foul! Very sad. Needs the reroll for the one turn, doesn't he? <laughs> he's got moving eight, I forgot. Yeah, he literally... He literally can one turn. <laughs> uh, he needs a lot of KOs, but... Uh, okay, yeah, he probably can't KO with one out of five. <laughs> Okay, well, he can't score with one out of five, probably. but yeah, it's, it's a valid. <laughs> if if the chores were down to like less players, they couldn't backline. So if they were on seven players and they just couldn't backline at all, um, <laughs> and he had more players, he really could have. Uh, he really could have done that. Move it. Imagine that. Imagine rolling a double for sprint. <laughs> 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 Just for the one turn. <laughs> Probably would have been better than tackle. To be fair, that tackle wasn't doing much. It would be a mess. And it's poor Chorf, who's just got his touchdown and leveled, and might get killed. Yeah, yeah, he's still the worst Chorf, so he's still gonna get put in put in danger the most. He's doing the pushes for it anyway. He's set up to do try the pushes. Why not? Yeah. We have to show our opponent we know how to want to. Yeah, it's very important. <laughs> you go here, right there. Oh. His minus movement guys have been the bane to his game. Yeah, it's fucking horrible, isn't it? 
Well, there you go. The sun. That's, honestly, those blitz was probably lost in the game being minus movement. They had to GFI so much. Yep, yep. Absolutely brutal. Um, <laughs> too hard. <horrible. laughs> yeah, it's it slightly inflated right from the pylons. And yeah. I hate how pylon ruins it because this could have been like 15 armor breaks and 7 pylons on pile on things that are already armor broken, but it just double counts it, which is a stupid, stupid way of doing it. Um, but yeah, only eight armor breaks for the Camry is poor, isn't it? Considering how many gang fouls he tried. And but, how many uh, hog goblins he hit. Yes, yeah. But there you go. Congratulations, Chaos Dwarf team. Uh, already forgotten the coach. <laughs> Commiserations, highly C prized. Cesari, something like that. Not Cesaro, that's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's say Cesaro. Congratulations, Cesaro, just on, <laughs> on being the best wrestler ever. And... <laughs> Um, thank you very much Muppet Pac-Man no problem and thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic <laughs>